Catalyst had a home and a mission, but it had yet to form a following. As it turned out, Catalyst would attract people similar to Joel and Magic, people with troubled pasts that were ultimately saved by their faith. One of the current members of Catalyst is Craig Fennin. He grew up in New Jersey, where he lacked a paternal role model. My father and uncles weren't the most upstanding citizens. They all spent time at Trenton State Penitentiary and Sing Sing and Rikers and Rawway and all the wonderful state and federal prisons up there. As Craig grew up, he also found himself in compromising positions with the law. It wasn't until the age of 20 that Craig began to abandon the criminal street life and began going to church. He didn't realize that he was able to combine religion with his love for hip hop. You mean I can rap and be a Christian? Because I had thought when I let go of a lot of things that I was doing to take hold of Christ that I just had to let go of everything. And I, I never really thought that my gift was a gift. It wasn't just something that I'm supposed to do just for one particular realm, but I can do it in any realm. And if this is my voice, if this is my way of expressing, then I wanna do it the same way over here. After discovering his passion for Christian hip hop, he became associated with Catalyst, a place devoted to bridging the gap between the Christian and hip hop communities. I knew of Catalyst for a while. I mean, I'm, I've known Joel for six years, seven years, and we would talk off and on. And then just recently, I was getting ready to move back down. And that was when we talked to you, he was like, you know, there's, there's always work to be done at Catalyst. Work that Craig was more than willing to take on. Uh, with the Christian church, a lot of people like the idea of impacting people, but then they don't really like the idea of having to put in the work to impact the people. They don't realize that it costs you something. You have to do something more. So with Catalyst, you know, we'll probably see 200 to 300 people tonight. And there might be 10 or 15 that are looking to help the culture. Another person willing to help the culture was Charles Ochoa, also known as Minus. While Craig's interest leaned toward rhyming, Minus was actively involved in art, which sparked his interests in graffiti. Minus has gotten a lot out of graffiti and art in general. But graffiti was, was cool because just like, Again, all the people that I met, all the things that I've seen, and even, even with colors, like just seeing so many colors and how to put things together, you know, it's given me an advantage in my other forms of art that some people don't have. But what ultimately led Minus to Catalyst was rapping, also called MCing or battling. The mixtapes, a lot of battling and stuff. So when I first came out to Catalyst, you know, years and years ago, I pretty much came out to, to rap, you know, to join a competition and whatnot. And you know, again, I saw the environment, I saw how everything was, and I kind of just liked it. And I just stuck around, you know, on and off over the past, what, six, seven years. Throughout the years, his involvement with Catalyst strengthened as he took on many roles. And I helped clean up, I helped organize, I helped, you know, work on the website and do a lot of things. So outside of just being like the main one per se, I mean, I just help on so many levels alongside everyone else. Everyone does an equal share. One of the many people who regularly attend Catalyst is Sebastian Elavisi, a breakdancer. He finds breakdancing to be a good outlet when he's not busy studying law at FIU. Yeah, it keeps me sane, man. <laughs> Sebastian stands out from others at Catalyst, hailing from Montreal, Canada. He found out about Catalyst online and has nothing but admiration for the group. Well, Cat um, and it's Catalyst is really nice. I mean, it's um, you know, it's a very open, friendly spot, um, and um, it's very much I think about you know keeping the community, you know, giving them something to do, something positive. You got the kids tagging here and stuff. So um, and it's just it's really nice vibes, man. All the guys who run the place are super, super good people, and it's just uh, it's been really nice, you know, really friendly, and um, just you know the challenge, like. You fall and you, you, know, you mess up, but you get a little bit better every time, so uh, it's, it's always an incentive. You know? It's the people at Catalyst that have made a difference for John Wilson as well. Wilson is an MC who has been coming to Catalyst for about a year. Because of here, like, I, I, I have to say that my ability to like, 
be much more outgoing with people is um it's been developed greatly um the people that i speak to um it's like much more sincere catalyst has not only helped wilson socially but spiritually as well after a while it's just i just liked coming to him because like learning about how the bible applies to your life nowadays and mainly for to have a sense of community and that's something i'm i was missing in my life so all in all it just kind of like fit and now like i just come here as best i can which is like on a weekly basis oscar torres is another face that is seen every week at catalyst torres is a christian ministry major at Trinity International University and got to choose an internship through the school's program. I, I chose Catalyst. It seemed more relevant and something that I could in some sense relate to since it was my age group. Oscar's internship at Catalyst gives him essential hands-on experience in Christian ministry. It's been the growth and just developing relationships as I've gone through it. At first, the experience was daunting. It's not my, my personal culture and uh, getting out of my comfort zone and coming in here uh, was a big step I guess for me and uh, and so seeing how I've been accepted in so many ways here you know has really touched me. Coming up next after years of inspiring countless people who is the person that gives Joel inspiration and as Catalyst is approaching eight years of breaking rhyming and sharing the word, what is Joel's most memorable night? Find out right after the break. <laughs>